Hi everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House and welcome back on my channel. Thank you very much for your feedback, for your comments, for your likes. I really, really appreciate that. And I see that you like Google Ads Scripts tutorials on my channel and I really want to continue filming them. Although I have problems with ideas lately, so if you have any so any problems you want to solve or any questions you want to solve feel free to uh, leave me a comment and don't forget to put like because the number of comments and your likes under the video is actually quality score of YouTube so the more likes I have the more motivated I am to create new videos today we're going to start our tutorial about how to create call out uh, in Google Ads script so what are we are going to do I created just new Google Sheets here that have a campaign filter, ad group filter, cloud text, mobile preference for cloud, and uh, this is just for me the text length uh, of the cloud text. So the idea is that if you want to create account level callout in Google Ads, you can just go to your account and do that. The same for campaign level, but sometimes you wanted to create an ad group special, ad group relevant callouts. Uh, and put a lot of different clouds in, in a lot of different ad groups, for example, for each different uh, car model or different city or different country, whatever. And to do this manually is a little bit too difficult, a little bit too slow. So we will try to do and replicate the process with uh, our Google Ads scripts. The cool part is that no, it's it has a lot, it has three main things we have to do. We need to download the data from Google Sheets we need to actually create a cloud and then we need to apply this cloud on ad groups. And in the future, I'm going to do a lot of other videos, for example, how to create a site link for that. And site link will have exactly the same function of downloading the data, exactly the same fun function of applying the site links. We would have, we will need just to change the creation part to create the site link. So this script is going to be a universal way of building something. I mean, I'd love it to be. So I also need to tell you that I'm not a professional Google Ads script manager. I'm also learning a lot of stuff right now to create the video videos. So don't expect my code to be the best code in the world. My goal is to show you how simple it is to create your own script to start doing something and just to automate your process every, to automate your everyday process. So I hope you enjoy it. I also trying to I'm testing my new microphone and let's start it. So first what I wanted to do, I wanted to download this uh, Google Sheet data into my um, Google Ads scripts environment. To write my scripts, I actually use Sublime Text Editor instead of uh, writing it writing it over here. And this is because I don't like the interface. I don't how how don't like how it works. I don't like the intentions intention here. So if you need to, if you wanna to have this something like this, just uh, download the Sublime uh, Editor. By the way, I have caps lock. So let's start. Let's make a JavaScript uh, file. And let's do function main. Yeah, it's actually here. And we're going to create a function called load data. From URL, we're going to give it. So, and on the very top, I'm going to do variable called spreadsheet URL. Here it is. So, I completely forgot to turn off my uh, notifications. This time sometimes it happens when you have a very long uh, no video pause anyway we have a spreadsheet global variable that actually contains uh, the address file of my spreadsheet and I have a function so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a new variable here uh, my callouts actually just callouts to make it simple equals load date I'm going to call the function and I'm going to give it a URL so the idea is it's very simple that the main function is going to be is going to be the first function the script will run it will go here see this line and what instead of uh, the mathematical logic when we actually learn in school the script will calculate this stuff on the right first and then put the result of this stuff on the left so this is what this equal sign means so what we need to do we just need to sorry uh, we need to pr uh, create the logic inside the load data just to make sure that this stuff works we're going to return high 
and then we're going to logger dot log callouts and let's see if this works. So when you create a new Google Ads scripts uh, file inside the interface, happen, it happens here in tools and settings, and then you go to scripts in bulk actions. And this exact script is not an MCC level, but uh, just a, a script le uh, account level script. And if you wanted to create an MCC level, you can watch another video on my channel. I will put it in descriptions below. So you can, uh, there is a universal way of doing that. Um, anyway, when we develop a new script, the MCC level is the very last thing we do because it does not affect any logic. So it's going to be callouts live because we have offline version of the script, which I wrote before starting this video. And I also need to give an authorization to the script because the script is not uh, doing something or getting data anonymously. It uh, does this from my account like this is exactly the same if I will go to account and try to do that. I have seen an error there, although it was not shown completely. So I will restart the file. And sometimes just for you to know, this happens and you need to reauthorize the script several times. So it's totally okay. He, you see here that I run the main function. This is the default function Google Ads starts to run. It calls callouts, uh, it calls load data, puts the results in callouts and show in logger the content of this variable. And here in logs I have high. So, okay, this stuff works. Now I need to go into deeper, <laughs> I need to go deeper and to actually download the data from Google Ads scripts. To do that, we're going to use several uh, variables. First, report shit equals spread shit app dot open by URL. And then we're going to pass an URL there that I have as an input for a param. By the way, it's URL, not UTL. Then we need to get amount, uh, we need to get uh, the rows from there. So it's going to be report sheet dot get data range. We need to get this will return us the amount of rows and the amount of columns we have inside this uh, shit. So I was going to get to, to copy these three functions from another file um, here. So it's going to return us this will return us the object of the data inside our Google Sheet. Depending on how much data we have there, it will return different amount, different range from these columns to these columns, from these rows to these rows. So there is a built-in function that will give us amount of rows we have in this file, built-in function that returns us amount of columns we have in these files, and also get values is a two-dimensional array that returns us um, all the data inside this file. So what we need to do, because it's a two dimensional array, it has this, this kind of index. So we do values and then first is going to be row index and then it's going to be column index. So to have it in the file, first we define the row we wanted to look at and then we define, yeah, it's correct. So first we define the row and then inside the row, we say, okay, it's going to be the first column. And by first column, I mean the computer uh, indexing. Here, here is the zeros column. Here is the first column. Here is the second column. So what I wanted to download, I wanted to download the headers from this file. I'm going to my Sublime editor, and I'm going to create, and I want to, and I'm going to create a cycle. So um, I create a new variable i equals zero i less than num calls and then i plus plus and then it's going to be var mm, column name equals to row oh, I com completely forgot to create a row so the first row is going to be values zero. So this will give us the whole first row. And then we're just going to navigate through this. And then it's going to be row of i. Let's add it to rate and create another variable is going to be header, header names uh, equals to list. Or we can do it the JavaScript way new array. 
and then we're going to push the column name into this list header names and then let's have a look how it works let's return the header names so it will ask us to reauthorize the script and if it's not happening why is going to ask us to re reauthorize the script because we added a new functionality to go to google ads uh, to go to google sheets or to go to g drive and to download some data from there sometimes it does not ask you what happened like new authorization in these cases you have to uh, restart the page so we have the output but the output is definitely not what I'm going what I wanted to have it's because here I need to push columns names instead of the header names otherwise it just doesn't make sense okay I have an array that contains the names of each column I have in the file 